Today in Review This Thing, we're gonna review this thing, the Ruger American Predator. This is Adrian with Review This Thing. We bought this gun back about six months ago and we put up a couple videos. One is the quick look and then we took it out to the range to get it sighted in. Check out the description below and you can see those links there. Since then, we've been able to take it to the range and shoot it quite a bit. So we feel like we can give you a pretty decent review. So let's review this thing. You know the drill, we're gonna cover the facts. The first part is fit. So first, let's talk about the size of this Ruger American Predator. So this particular version is a 308 and has an 18 inch barrel. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes. But pretty much all of the other barrels in this line have a 22 inch barrel. The overall length of this rifle is about 38 inches and it weighs right at 6.2 pounds out of the box. Now with this Sightmark Wraith scope on here, it's a little bit heavier. I think it weighed right at about 8.6 pounds. And the length of pull on this rifle is right at about 13 and three quarter inches. So now that we've talked about the size, how are those specs gonna fit you? First, I want to talk about how this gun fits me specifically. So I'm 5'4", about 132, and apparently I have shorter arms and smaller hands than most people based on how shirts and gloves fit me. My ideal length of pull is about 12 and 3 quarter inches to 13, so because of that I have to stretch just a little bit forward to reach the trigger, and I have to stretch to be able to see through the scope really well. I will say though, on that same note, this Sightmark Wraith sits pretty forward on the rail. They do have an attachment where you can pull it back some, but we don't have one on this gun. So if there was a different scope on on there that I could slide back, I probably wouldn't have to stretch my neck as much to see through it. Similarly, this stock you can see is a flat hunter style stock. In order to see through this scope, which again, it not only sits a bit forward, but it also sits quite a bit high. I can basically just sit my lower cheek just right above my chin on the stock. Now, obviously, yes, you can get uh, cheek pads to put on there. We just haven't done that with this gun yet. So some of that is this particular scope, but then also just having that flatter stock and also that length of pull. Now, when it comes to the thing that I like least about fit, and I talked about this a little bit in the quick look that we did, I have a really hard time resting my hand comfortably on the grip and easily reaching the trigger. For me, the space between the grip and the trigger is too big for my hand. So instead of being able to just rest comfortably on the grip, I have to bring my hand up and forward and kind of put it in a weird spot so that I can reach that trigger. So those things combined make this not a very comfortable gun for me to shoot. Now, on the other hand, my husband absolutely loves this gun. So he's about 5'10 and his hands are bigger. So the length of pull fits him much better. He also is able to reach the trigger with absolutely no problems at all. Now another thing I do want to mention here with the Ruger American is that it's a super popular gun. So because of that, there are multiple places where you can buy other stocks and switch it out so you can customize it even more to fit you better. I haven't tried that yet. If you've switched out the stock on your Ruger American, comment below and let me know what you used. That could be a project you might see in the future. So the way I'm going to score fit may not be super fair because it doesn't fit me great, but it does fit my husband. But I'm the one making the video, so I'm going to give Fit a 3.5 out of 5. Now, is the Ruger American Predator as advertised? So kind of their big tagline of what they advertise is reliability, versatility, performance, and affordability. I'm gonna clump reliability and performance together. We've shot this gun with multiple setups. It comes with a thread protector. We've shot it that way. Right now it has a muzzle brake on it. We've also had it set up with a different brake with that Indian Creek Designs BFD over top. And then we've also had a suppressor on this gun. And with every setup we've used, we found it to be extremely reliable, great groups. As a matter of fact, I took it out the other day with this exact setup and was able at 100 yards to shoot a .195 MOA group. So I took it out to 200 and was actually able to shoot a sub .6 MOA group and around a 0.3 MOA group. So for me, I would definitely say the performance of this gun is awesome, especially when you think about the fact that I just told you in fit that it isn't really a comfortable gun for me to shoot. As far as affordability, the Ruger American Predator is definitely known very well for its price point. When we bought this gun, it was on sale. I believe we paid like $3.99 plus tax. I looked it up the other day and it was right at $4.79. So as far as the quality of gun you're going to get for that price point, I don't know of a whole lot of other ones. Now, I don't know all the other rifles out there, so there may be. If you do, comment below and tell me what your favorite gun around that price point is. Is. There are a lot of other things they advertise that we'll cover more in the construction and durability section next, so I don't want to repeat those. But overall, we've been really impressed and feel like it does exactly what Ruger says it will. So because of that, we're going to give as advertised a 5 out of 5. Now onto construction and durability. Now the Ruger American Predator is of course going to come in a number of different calibers. Each caliber has different twist rate. They also have left-handed versions and right-handed versions. I really like that it has this four-round flush magazine. I can definitely have some difficulty loading a rifle from the top. So the fact that you can just pull this out, load it really easily, and then pop it back in makes things a lot easier for me. One of my favorite parts is that this Ruger American Predator does come with a threaded barrel. If you've watched any of our other muzzle brake videos or the BFD SME videos, you know that I absolutely love a break. So the fact that this thing comes threaded is huge and makes all of that 
super easy. Now, unfortunately, this barrel is not Cerakoted. That'd be a nice touch if they would add that just for some added weather protection. I mentioned earlier, this is an 18 inch barrel. So the reason we went with this one is because we wanted to set it up as a hog hunting gun. So we knew that we were going to put a suppressor on it. So when you take a four to six inch suppressor and stick it on the end of a 22 inch barrel, it makes a 26, 28 inch barrel. Where if you put it on this 18 inch barrel, it makes it a lot easier to move around in a stand and things like that. Now, interestingly enough, you wonder, will it affect accuracy at longer distances and will it affect muzzle velocity? There will be a video coming soon. I took it out the other day and checked it out, so stay tuned for that one too. Now the trigger on this is a Ruger Marksman adjustable trigger, so it can be adjusted from three to five pounds. It came out of the box right at five pounds. We've got it adjusted, I believe, down to about three and a half pounds was the lowest we could get it. One thing that I had to get used to is it has a trigger safety as well, so it has that little bit of give at the beginning before you hit the trigger, and then you're able to continue to squeeze and shoot it from there. Now another great feature, I think, is the position of the safety. It's a tang safety, so you can just use your thumb to just reach up and flip it on to fire. It is a two position safety and it's really smooth and really easy to work. Another nice feature is that this gun does come with this pick rail attached. Now we did take it off and use our torque wrench to make sure it was torqued to specs, but it's really cool that it comes with it because it saves a little bit of money. And finally, we're going to talk about the bolt a little bit. When we first got it, we definitely had to take it out, clean it off, grease it up a little bit and get it to where it's pretty doggone smooth now. The only drawback that I see is that after you fire around, to me, it's very difficult to work the bolt. After I posted the quick look video, I had a few people comment that told me that was pretty much how it was designed. So I don't particularly like that because number one, when I'm at the range shooting, I want it to be easy to work the bolt. And then also if you're hunting and you want to have a, another round ready for a follow-up shot, I'd like that to be quite a bit easier. So far, we've been really pleased with this Ruger Americans construction and durability. Uh, I am going to take just a little bit off because of the bolt. So because of that, we're going to give construction and durability a 4.8 out of 5. Now on to testimonials and reviews. Now the Ruger American Predator can be purchased at a lot of different stores. So I checked out several different websites looking for those negative comments. Overall, it gets really good reviews. When I looked at the one and two star reviews, I had a bit of a difficult time finding consistent complaints. The only thing I found that I saw multiple times was people having issues with the magazine chambering the next round. So far, we haven't had any issues, but just be aware people have said that happens. There were also a few people that mentioned that it misfired, that the bolt wouldn't close, they couldn't get consistent groups, which we definitely have not had that problem. And then a few other little things like that. Overall, the Ruger American Predator gets stellar reviews, and the average score for testimonials and reviews that we found is a 4.5 out of 5. Finally, the whole reason that you watch this video, should you buy this thing? You know the drill, it totally depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for some big fancy $3,000 rifle with a carbon barrel or carbon stock, then clearly this is not the gun for you. Now, I myself have never owned a big fancy $3,000 gun, so I can't tell you if it would be so much better than this gun, but I can tell you at a 100 and 200 yards, we've had some pretty amazing groups. But if you're looking for a super affordable hunting rifle that you know is going to be reliable and consistent, then this may be just what you're looking for. So I have to tell you, I struggled a lot actually with how I was going to score should you buy this thing. Here's what I'd say. If you go into your gun store and you hold this Ruger American Predator and it fits you great, then without a doubt, you should buy this thing. Now, if you go into that same gun store and hold this rifle and it doesn't fit you well, keep looking for one that is going to fit you well or plan on spending the money to replace the stock. Now for me, I found rifles that fit me much better and do really, really, really well for what costs less than buying this and replacing the stock. So because of that, don't hate me, I'm going to give Should You Buy This Thing a 3 out of 5. Hey, thanks for watching our Ruger American Predator review video. While you're here, watch several other Ruger American videos. We got a whole bunch of other rifle videos you should watch. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we do. Share it with your friends. If you really like what we do, consider subscribing. We love it. Tell your friends too. Also, take a second and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and now on TikTok.